everyone, it's Alex and today I have my November empties with you. I always have to try and remember which one I'm doing, but this is my November empties. I got them all here in my Bath and Body Works bag. I'm just going to go through everything with you. It's kind of some of the same usual stuff that you see. Um, yeah, but let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing is a box of Kleenex from Scotty's which I get at the dollar store and you get 120 to ply in here and I think these work really well so I would recommend them and I got them in a little pattern they come in different patterns but yeah I really like the way those work I'll just set that down this you see a lot in every empties video um the Quait overnight heavy extra flow maxi pads yeah, these work fine. They do what they need to do, and they come with 20 in them just because it's the, yeah, the thicker ones, I guess. Wow, that was TMI. I had to go shut my alarm off. It was going off. But um, these were in my project pan. Uh, they smell really good. I finished them all off, and I have a backup of this one, but not the body mist. Um, yeah, this is a retired scent now from Bath and Body Works. It smells really good though. Sweet, really fragrance. I like it a lot. The next one is Sugared Citrus Sorbet. It's a candle from Bath and Body Works. I really liked the textured glass on this. I need to clean it out and try and reuse it because it's pretty cool. I like the color of it. I don't remember what this one smelled like. I don't think it gave off a lot of throw. So I don't think I would repurchase it again. I don't think I can anyways because it was probably just some, yeah, random one that came out. And this was priced at $26.50. Um, that's what it says. I know I got it on sale, but yeah. It's Zesty's Mandarin Lemon Sugar with Juiced Red Raspberry. Can't really smell anything. Um, yeah, from that, so that's why I'm thinking it didn't give off, give off a whole lot of throw. Toothpaste, this is the one I usually get, the Colgate Total Daily Repair, and I used to only get this online, but I saw that they sell this in the store, so now I just buy this in store, so that that's my favorite toothpaste I've been using. I have an Equate nail polish remover this is the strengthening and nourishing one and this didn't work all that great for me it did an okay job I just had to use a lot of it and especially with glitter it doesn't do that great of a job so I recently purchased a 100% or whatever it was the acetone one I featured it in a Walmart haul that one works good but it really dries out your nails so I wouldn't recommend it for every use so but yeah I won't be repurchasing that one again I have a few makeup things. I have a Buxom lip gloss in, oh, and this one's coming out, in the shade Dolly. I really liked this. This is one of those where you put it on and it gives you like that sting type feeling. Um, yeah, it doesn't give off a whole lot of pigmentation, but it just makes your lips nice and glossy and plump looking. And I would repurchase it. This is just a little tri trial size one I think I got off of eBay or something like that. I do um, want to pick up a different, another one. And that shade or a different shade doesn't matter to me. This is from L'Oreal. This is a lip gloss, all the writing has written off. But I got this at Kmart on a sale. Um, it had a really creamy, nice texture to it for lip gloss. It was nice and pigmented. I really liked it. But yeah, I, mean, I used most of it up, but it's just, yeah, it kind of expired. So throwing that one out. There's barely any of this in here left, if anything at all. This is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Stockholm. If you can see a little swatch there. It's kind of a really light on me, so I usually tend to layer this one. So, yeah. I don't think I would have purchased this particular shade. Um, let me see if I can swatch this lip gloss. I don't even know what shade is it it's in so there's really no point but I'll do it anyway so yeah those are those two things um, 
I have an Excedrin mild headache. I got this at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I was thinking which dollar store it was, but it was a Dollar Tree. And it was a mild headache, 130 tablets. It's aspirin free, I don't take aspirin. So yeah, this one worked okay. And yeah, for a dollar, wanted to snatch that up. Um, I got this as a sample and I wanted to show it. It's Goddess Garden Organics Erase the Day and it's a mineral removing cleanser. And it just works really good. It comes out green. It doesn't foam up at all. But my skin felt really clean and soft and just really nice, like a spa. Like filling after cleansing my skin. You can buy this on Walmart's website. I saw you can buy it on their website. You can buy it on Amazon. Sorry, my phone's going off. Um, yeah. So I tried to purchase this through Walmart. But every time I place my order, it gets canceled for some reason. So, yeah. I've given up on buying it for right now. So, But hopefully I get to buy it again in the future. Okay. Um, and then the last of the stuff in here is all Bath & Body Works stuff. I have a Bath & Body Works vanilla hand cream. I squeeze this thing to smithereens to try and get every last ounce out. And... Yeah, I kept it by my night side. It's very just soft and just, you know, soft calming scent to it. Moisturizing because my hands get really dry. I wash them a lot. Um, you're probably surprised I don't have a hand soap <laughs> in this in, in this um, empties video, but yeah, they do get dry. I like these. They work good. Um, yeah. And then I just have some wallflowers and pocket backs. So the first pocket back is Sparkling Limoncello, one of my favorite scents. And then I have Champagne Sparkle. This had little glitters in it, so when you put it on your hand, there would be little silver sparkles all over it. And that's smeared off. I don't even know where it's smeared off. Ugh. Yeah, got some on my pants there. It's wiping off though. Watermelon Lemonade, another favorite scent. Yeah, just sweet and lovely. And then my wallflowers I have. I have one in Limoncello. These wallflower plugs, they usually last like three to four weeks. I use them just throughout the house. I like that one a lot. That's a repurchase. This sweet cherry pie one. I don't know if they still carry this scent or not. But it does smell good. Um, let's see if it has notes on it. Uh, bright red cherries, flaky pie crust, and crushed almonds. It has a strong scent to it. And then I have French lavender, which I didn't really like that much, so I wouldn't be getting that one again. And then the last one I have in here is pure white cotton. This is one of my all-time favorite scents in them, in candle and in wallflower. So yeah, that is everything in my empties, guys. Yeah, I kind of went through that fast. If you want my videos to be longer, if you want me to elaborate more on the products, I would do that. Um, just let me know. I kind of just try to make it quick because, yeah, I don't think you want to sit through all that mumbo jumbo. But um, yeah, if you think I'm speeding through it too much, just let me know. Um, and I will, yeah, slow down and, yeah, take more time on it. So I just wanted to add that in there. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.